students today we'll understand question number four sum number one of exercise 2.3 so in this question number in this question we have to compare the fractions okay let's see what is there 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 is greater or 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 is greater so you have to compare this two now the first thing that you will do is you have to multiply it that is 2 by 7 of means you know into 3 by 4 now you can reduce this two that is 2 1 2 2 to the 4. Fine. So 3 1 the 3, 7 to the 14. So the product of these two fraction is 3 upon 14. The same way you have to find the product of these two fraction. That is 3 upon 5 into 7, 5 upon 8. So again you can reduce it. 5 1 the 5, 5 1 the 5. So what is the answer? 3 1 the 3, 8 1 the 8. Okay. So finally we are getting two fraction as 3 upon 14 and 3 by 8. Now we have to compare these two fractions. Fine. So we know that when we have to compare the fractions, we have to make the denominator same. In that way, it would be easy. So convert the fraction into like fraction. What is like fraction, students? We have discussed earlier also. So like fraction means we have to convert the denominators similar. Now, how to do that? I hope you remember that is 3 by 14, 3 by 8. You have to find the LCM of the denominators. That is 14 and 8. So 14 and 8 LCM is 56. Now, we have a purpose that we have to make the denominator as 56 okay so first of all we'll write the first fraction that is 3 upon 14 into now we have to divide 56 with 14 the answer would be 4 so this 4 has to be multiplied by numerator as well as with the denominator so 4 3 is a 12 and 4 14 is a 56 see it was 14 now it is 56 the same treatment will do with the second fraction that is 3 by 8 now, if you divide 56 with 8, the answer will come as 7. So, 7 would be multiplied with the numerator, that is with 3, it will come 21, and 7 into 8 is 56. See, now both the fractions are carrying the same denominators. Now, it is easy to compare. 12 is greater than 21, obviously 21. So, we will write 21 upon 56 is greater than 12 upon 56. Okay, so 21 upon 56 is originally what? 3 by 8, so we will write 3 by 8. Is greater than 3 by 4 3 by 14 now as because in the question they have asked uh, you have to compare these two values now 3 by 8 okay so 3 by 8 means you can also write this is greater than this okay that is 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 is greater than 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 you can give your answer in this way also or you can produce your answer in this way also no problem okay now <clears throat> Let's move on to question number 5 of exercise 2.3. Now, what is it saying? Now, Sally plants 4 saplings in a row in her garden. Saplings means small, small plants. Okay. So, how many plants she is planting? She is planting 4 saplings. Now, the distance between the 2 adjacent saplings, that is the distance between the 2 saplings is minimum 3 by 4 meter. So, find the distance between the first and the last sapling. Now, you see I have drawn four plants beg your pardon for the drawing actually i'm not that good in drawing so these are the four plants hmm. first plant second plant fourth plant and uh, third plant and fourth plant and between each plant there is a gap how many gaps are there one two and three three gaps are there between four saplings there are how many gaps three gaps okay each gap is of three by four meter see in between first and second saplings how many gap is there what is the gap 3 by 4 meter same way uh, gap between third sapling and uh, second sapling and third sapling is 3 by 4 meter and similarly the gap between third and fourth sapling is also 3 by 4 meter now according to the question they are asking so what is the distance between the first sapling and the fourth sapling that is from here to here so you have it marked as question mark so the first thing I've written is length of one gap. That is each gap you can write. Okay. First one gap or each gap is equal to 3 by 4. That is what is a gap between uh, two adjacent sapling? I've written as 3 by 4 meter gap. Now distance between first and last sapling. The distance between first and last sapling is equals to number of gaps. Number of gaps into 3 by 4 meter. Okay. So how many gaps are there students? 1, 2, and three gaps are there and they are all equal distance so so number of gap is three and what is a uh, 
length of each gap that is 3 by 4 so 3 into 3 by 4 this is the concept actually so if you have to find the distance between the first and the last septing so you have to see how many gaps are there and with that particular number you have to multiply the length of each gap that is 3 by 4 meter that is 3 into 3 by 4 just multiply it because you cannot reduce this so 3 3 is a 9 and 4 1 is a 4 give it in a mixed fraction form that is it will come as 2 1 by 4 meter i hope you have understood now uh, you uh, remember that in question number four there are two sums but i've explained only one sum so please do all the sums of question number four and five okay thank you and take care